Want to know why you keep working for horrible bosses and keep dating losers and keep running into the same problems over and over and over again? I'll tell you. Hi, I'm Erica Ballard and I help women live the lives they're meant to. And sis, the reason this is happening to you is because you haven't learned the lesson those encounters are meant to teach you. I'm gonna repeat that. The reason you keep running into the same problems over and over and over again is because you haven't learned the lesson they're meant to teach you. So try as you might to blame the external world for your problems, the reality is the reason you keep running into the same shit is because you refuse to see that something you're doing or thinking, consciously or unconsciously, is causing you to relive past experiences. Which is why if you're sick of working for the wrong people or dating the wrong person or whatever it is you're tired of doing, you've got to address the internal turmoil that is causing it. Now you might be thinking to yourself, okay, Erica, but how do I do that? And that's a fair question, friend. So to help you out, I'm going to share three questions you can ask yourself to get the clarity you need to learn your lesson so you can move past your shit. All right. Question one, how is this benefiting me? And I know working for a bad boss doesn't sound like it's benefiting you, but sis at a subconscious level it is. And the only reason you don't know that is because you've never asked this question, but you know what they say, ask a better question to get a better answer. So ask yourself this question so you can get the clarity you need to stop reliving your past. Now question two, who would I be without this problem? Now, the answer might seem obvious here, but do the damn exercise anyway, because if the answer was really obvious, you wouldn't be repeating your problems, but you are. So go ahead and ask yourself, who would I be without this problem? And let yourself really sit in the response. And finally, question three, what has to change if I want to stop X problem from happening again? Now I'll warn you, the answer to this question might scare you or seem near impossible to execute on, but it doesn't mean it's wrong. So really listen to what comes up and when you're ready, execute what you heard because the answer you get is likely the first step to freeing yourself from the negative feedback loop you've been living on. And of course, if you need additional help getting yourself unstuck, I'm here. So reach out for a free breakthrough call so I can help you figure out what your answers mean and what else needs to happen for you to stop feeling so trapped. You can sign up for that call using the link in my bio above or in the comments below. And with that, if you like this video and think others might too, go ahead and like it and share it now.